Regardless of the reason and meaning behind Christmas, the trend has now become that Christmas is a time to be lavish. Be it gifts that you give people, decorations at home, uh, Christmas dinner, even gift wrapping. There's so many different types of wrappers like fancy foil wrappers and ribbons and so many extras. The thing is, many times we don't realise that these things create so much wastage. I was extremely upset last year at the end of the day after we had opened all of our gifts. While there's joy in giving to people, we still have to be aware of how we spend our money and how much wastage we create. We really wanted to give things that each other liked, so we ended up buying like two or three gifts for each other. In the end, we ended up with about 70 to 80 gifts between six adults and three children. And because we wanted the gifts to look really nice, we ended up buying a lot of fancy foil wrappers and ribbons using different color for each one different you know kind of tags for each one as well at the end of the day after we opened everything we end up accumulating about one or two bin bags full of wrappers that had to go to the bin we couldn't even recycle it because most of the material that we used wasn't recyclable we had a lot of sellotapes we had a lot of foil in there a lot of ribbons that you can't really reuse that image of filling up the bin bag with all of the wrappers and the waste that we created stayed in my mind for a very very long time so this year I made a conscious decision that I was going to be extra careful with the material that I used. I still bought two or three gifts per person, but I'm just not going to use any um, foil wrappers or sellotapes. I'm going to use recyclable um, wrapping papers, gift wrappers, and also glue, hopefully, and no ribbons at all. So I've got a few things here that I want to show you, and I want to share with you how I'm going to sustainably gift wrap all of my gifts this year. I've tried to avoid single-use plastics, and I've also tried to reuse some of the boxes that my online delivery came in, rather than buying new boxes and new wrappers and things like that. So I've just reused as much as possible so that it's not one-time use and you're not throwing it away into the bin immediately. Here are the things that I have. I've got a recyclable gift wrapper, I've got a stencil, now this is plastic but you can reuse this many times rather than drawing things or you know tying a ribbon or getting fall gift wrappers, I bought this stencil, it's a snowflake one and there's a lot of designs in here. You can use this to draw on your gifts and you can create new designs yourself. I've got my scissors and a pen knife if I need it. And I've got some marker pens. So three of these I got recently. It's a red, silver and white one. And this is the black one. These ones are paints. It has a little bit of a smell. It's not that bad, but it still smells a little bit, especially if you do it indoors or in a closed room. I'm going to use these to draw my snowflakes and also to draw ribbons on it. I saw something on Pinterest and I really, really hope it works and it looks nice as well. And the black one also in case I wanted to do like shadow or something like that. And I've got a glue. Um, now, the kind of wrapping that I want to do is the one without a sellotape. However, most of my gifts are going to be sitting for more than a month. It's only early November now and I don't even know if I'm going to meet my family during Christmas time or even after that because all of them live in Glasgow. So it's not really practically possible for me to plan anything at the moment. However, I still want to buy a gift. It might need to survive a car journey. It might need to survive the postage journey as well. I'm not sure, but I've got a glue in case the one without the sellotape doesn't work. Let me show you how I do it now. I don't want to give away the kind of presents that I have for everyone. So I've put all of it in boxes so that you don't know what exactly is in there, okay? So I'm gonna show you with this one first. This is probably one of the smallest um, gifts. First and foremost, all you need to do is measure this before you cut your wrapper. So you have to measure all four sides equally. So put it in this corner here, okay? Roll it out, put it in this corner, and then one, two, three, and four. You need a wrapper up to here. Give it about one or two inches extra, and then cut it over here. It's just a rough measurement, okay? So you don't need a ruler, you don't need to make like a straight line or anything. Make sure you don't get any paper cuts as well. So if you're very sensitive, you would want to be careful with it. Okay? Do it this way. Another thing I want to say before I continue, because this is a first box, 
see how it's in a rectangle shape. See how I've used it this way now? I tried to use it this way so that I save more paper. It didn't work. It kind of messed up the entire measurement. So you have to use lengthwise rather than uh, the other way, okay? So once you've got your wrapper, you now need to fold this in a triangle. So kind of fold it in a half, but create a triangle. It doesn't have to be accurate again, but this is the only way it kind of works because of the measurements. Otherwise, you won't get the right measurement. So when you have this here, align it properly and then get your scissors and cut these extras away. Okay, I'm done. You can put that away. This is the shiniest side, so I'm going to turn it around. Put your gift this way, diagonally across, okay? And then measure and ensure you cover both the corners. And then do this. Make sure it's a little bit in the center. You need to put it like one third the way, not right in the middle, not right in the corner as well. So when you measure it this way, it needs to cover this end. And when you pick it up this way, it needs to cover this end also. Okay. Let's give this a go. So I have covered, okay. I've covered this part here. Create a crease and then create a crease here also. Now what you want to do is pull the bottom of it and then with your two fingers, your thumb and your pointer finger, try and push this in while you pull the bottom up. Ideally what you want to do is you want to try and align this corner to the top here. Okay, there you go. And then pull this in. Like I said, I want this to survive for more than four or five weeks at least. And it may need to survive a car journey. I'm going to use a glue. And glue it up here. Just so that it stays longer. Okay, there you go. I'm side done. And the other side, you're doing the same thing. Pick it up from the bottom. Push this in a little bit. And then bring this up. Pull this in. Bring it up so that it aligns to the corner. And press it in. Okay, you've got one side done. That's good enough. I'm going to stick this end also. You know, the sticky glue is actually quite good. It doesn't feel as if it's going to work, but it does work, trust me. Okay, I'm going to show you on this side now. Make a crease over here on both sides, okay? The bottom and the top, so it's easier a little bit. This one's going to be a little bit tricky because you need to try and bring both sides up together, but it's not that bad at all. Do like kind of half and half first, okay? So lift up the bottom, push this bit in a little bit, and then, you know, kind of make everything neat and tidy. Bring it up, and there you go. Fold this in so you can retain the shape. And then bring this down. Now that you've got the shape here, you can let this go. And then do the same over here. Fold this in and bring it up and fold it in. Okay, so you've got the shape over here. You've got the crease in both sides. Pull that up and just make everything neat and tidy and press it in this one's sticking out a little bit so I'm going to try and bring it in there you go ideally what you want to do now is 
see, had I not stuck the glue over here, I would have been able to tuck it in. But then again, I don't trust that to last for as long as I want it to. So I'm going to glue this up. I'm going to fold it and glue it here so that it looks neater. So basically you've got all of your folds and everything on the bottom. This is going to be the bottom. When you put it under your Christmas tree, you're going to put it this way. So the top looks really neat. So do the sides and this side as well. You don't have any folds whatsoever because all of your folds are around the corner and then the rest of it is in the bottom. So when you put this in the bottom, it's not going to show anything. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to write whose gift this is at the bottom of it. It doesn't necessarily need to be on top at all because I'm not getting any tags whatsoever. I am going to write the name so I don't get confused and forget which is for whom. I don't really care how it looks at the back because it's not going to show on top at all, okay? So this is where I'm going to do all of my decorations and ribbons and stuff. I'll do that in the end. Siempre te voy a extrañar Claro que sí Porque por muchos años Era mi vida real No oh, yeah. Y cuando regreso Yo te voy a dar Te lo juro Un regalito bien bonito De la capital Pero ahora Tengo que cambiar mi vida Y por eso Yo te, te tengo que So I've wrapped up a few of these things. I'm going to show you how I decorate. I'm going to draw a ribbon on one and I'm going to draw a snowflake on the other so you can see how it looks like. There you have it. This is how I have tried my best to sustainably wrap. So this year, all of these wrappers will go into the recycle bin and not just the other bin to throw away and create a lot more wastage. I hope you found this useful and I hope you got a little bit of tips from this. Um, I hope you also have this thought. Regardless of what we do, we need to try and reduce our waste. Sustainable living is not one of my fortes at all, but it's something that you can try. You need to start from somewhere, don't you? So this is where I'm starting from. I have reduced so much more packages and plastics and everything in our day-to-day -day lives, but this is one of those biggest things that many people don't realize at all. So that's about it. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and I'll see you again next week as you always. Bye!